What is goth? Actually, that last answer is one of the things I really dislike about goths. When people are really insecure, they tend to overcompensate for their lack of confidence. By overcompensating, they tend to come off as elitist because they are so insecure with who they are and what they believe that they feel the need to put others down to make themselves feel better. Why are you goth? I don't know if I would necessarily consider myself 100% goth. I love so many things about the goth subculture. However, I don't want to just like stick myself in one, in a box basically. Peter Murphy. I don't like any of these answers. <laughs> like if I'm going to the goth club, I definitely want to hear some Bauhaus. Like that's just traditional. Like while I love goth music, I'm more of a rock and roll like metal chick at heart. And so that's more of the music I tend to um, steer to on a regular basis. When someone verbally angers you, what do you do? ignore them. I've got better things to do, you know? But again, that's it's about being an adult. I think as you get older, you start realizing there's just better ways to sp spend your time than getting all emotional and reactionary against people. And there's no point in getting upset with someone if they're not important to you. Why waste the energy on them? But if they're not important to you, let it go and don't let it hurt your feelings. I, I think that's a better way to explain it. Dead Cantans. I really like Dead Can Dance. I guess you could call that more traditional goth music. How do you feel about grammar, spelling, and etc.? I think <clears throat> spelling and grammar is important, but again, it's one of those things that's like, like you shouldn't be a total grammar Nazi, like people are gonna misspell things. So it's like you should try, but then again, at the same time, you know, don't lose your crap over people who don't make a spelling error. Like, it's whatever. Emo people. The scene kids, basically. I was never a scene kid. That was a little bit after my time. I never really got into that kind of music. How do you feel about literature? I, I do love classic literature, but I tend to be a genre reader and I really just like the supernatural horror genre. Punk. Sex Pistols are totally punk. Paramore is not punk. And I wouldn't even really call Green Day punk. They're kind of like punk light. Maybe the album Dookie, but everything after they, they did after that wasn't isn't really punk. That new, what is it called, pop punk, like Blink-182, and I just can't get into most of those bands. Like, I'll like one or two of their songs, but for the most part, it's just really annoying. Apparently, I'm an elitist. <laughs> the highest score you can get on this quiz, oh yeah, you're a goth, all right. Maybe perhaps a bit too gother than thou, but you do know what you're talking about, even if it is annoying that you refuse to step off your high horse and into the gutters with everyone else. So apparently I am an elitist. Have really been into goth music and the scene for a really long time, but I also try not to take myself too seriously. I am wearing um, a shirt that Rocky gave me, which I don't know if you can read it. It says, if I wanted your opinion, I'd read your entrails. You can't really get more gothy than that, right? <laughs> so thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it and please comment down below. I will link this quiz if you guys wanted to take it. Let me know what you think and I will talk to you later. Bye! Lemieux. Lemieux.